Louisiana Beer Reviews <coughs> Safety Dance Pilsner. This is 4.8% alcohol. Um, <coughs> IBUs are 26. I'd rather if they were about 30 or 33 for a Pilsner, but that's okay. It's better than the, what, 10 for a fine Pilsner beer, Miller Lite. Haha, <laughs> not really a Pilsner. So, um, 2020 gold medal for Keller beer in that category at the Great American Beer Festival. It's got this adhesive label. Uh, Smart Mouth Brewing Company, Norfolk, Virginia. There's no date on the can, guys. Put the damn date. And I can mock that, you know, and have fun with it, but honestly, it's the truth. It's really not, it doesn't seem like it would be that hard to print the born on date, at least a Best Buy date, but here I have nothing, so I, I don't know how old it is. And this was sent to me by Douglas in Virginia. And uh, <clears throat> I tried the, the Game On IPA and I did not like it, and I did not think it was a good ale. But let's see how this Pilsner is going to be. And this is the first video review for this product in the world. This is sold in those 12 ounce cans and on draft, <clears throat> but no bottles, unfortunately. As you can see, an extremely thick white head. The appearance is somewhat hazy, honestly, and it's golden. And uh, okay, so let's go with the aroma. My nose is a little messed up, but uh, I can still smell things. And it smells like cracker, sweet, unsalted cracker. Yes, <clears throat> which you get with a good European, with the good European Pilsners and Hellas Lagers, things like that. All right, taste time. Sweet cracker and grassy hop bitterness. Very nice. Medium body, dry finish, crisp, clean, and refreshing. Uh, <clears throat> beer advocates saying 86, very good. Rape beer saying no, it's horrible, it's a 41 out of 100, <laughs> but they're giving it an 82 in the style. You know what, they don't like the style. I don't think a beer is going to be an 82 in the style, but be a horrible beer overall. Because there's no horrible styles. There's styles that people may or may not like, but it doesn't make the style bad. If you People will say, oh, those tomato beers are horrible. Well, they're horrible to you. <laughs> Other people love them and drink them constantly. I think they're a little fattening, though. Um, sweetness scale. Yes, I'd say two and a half out of five <clears throat> sugar cubes. Sorry for my voice, a little impacted, but not terrible. A little worse than I thought it was, but well, it'll be all right. Um, bitterness units, three out of five hop cones. It's got good, like I said, I'd rather 33 IBUs, but 26 is fine. It's fine for this beer. It's fine. It's fine. Now, is this beer helping me feel better with this cold? It's a mild cold, too, by the way, thankfully. Yes, it is. Beer always makes me feel feel better with or without a cold, but makes me feel even better, you know, if I'm ill. I don't get colds too much because I take vitamin C every day. Once I started doing that, I didn't really catch colds anymore. And if I did, they usually were mild, so that's a benefit there. Anyway, nice lacing. Uh, problems. I don't see any problems. Oh, 70 on untapped, a 70 out of 100, which to me is a little low, but actually for untapped, it's rather high. So they have a different way of um, putting their scores out there. Um, so that 70 would be more like an 80 on Beer Advocate. Still too low, though.
far too low. Tastes fresh, but that's a knock against them. It should have the date, but I'm not going to reduce the score because of something irritating like that because I'm tasting what I'm tasting, and it's a fabulous product. Um, I'm not saying it's up to Pilsner or Kale level, but then nothing is. <laughs> um, that's a 100 out of 100, the Arkell. It's the world classic. But still, this is a good deal because you're getting 12 ounces instead of 11.2. I don't know the price. I saw Pilsner and Arkell for $9.99, a six pack the other day. So that has to be taken into account. There's no excuse that if it's 11.2 in Europe, it can't be 12 ounces here, and I'll tell you why. We get Spotten, Optimator, and the regular, and the Oktoberfest, 12 ounce bottles. Prices, no more. Um, we get Corona, extra 12 ounce bottles. But the Soul, coming from Mexico, or sometimes the Netherlands, because of who owns them, it'll be 11.2 ounce bottles. There's no excuse for that. People might say, oh, well, it's the way it's done, you know. It's really just a way to cheat you out of eight, eight tenths of an ounce, I think. Um, but that being said, <clears throat> This beer is like good medicine, and good medicine is what I need, so mm -hmm. I'm going to go with 9.5 out of 10, a 95 out of 100. I'd never go lower. I could go higher, though. I think if I had more, I'd, I'd jump it up, but still, uh, it's not too common to find American Pilsners that can, can get up in that, in the, in, up above the low 90s. Uh, they just always seem to have some kind of deficit problem. And then you get all these German Pilsners, and they always 95, 96, 97, 98, you know, 100, whatever. It's just the truth. Anyway, uh, so laissez les bon temps relay. Thanks again, Doug. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Norfolk, Virginia, and tour Smart Mouth Brewery.